Thank you. My name is Joseph Hanratty, and this evening with me is Jeffrey Pardue, Senior Vice President of Greenlove Dennis. Uh, we are here on behalf of AZ Ocala. They are an intervener in this matter, an affected property owner along the pipeline. AZ Ocala is also represented by William Massey of the Covington firm in DC. AZ Ocala is located in Marion County, immediately southeast of compressor number six. AZ Ocala is not a Johnny come lately to these proceedings. We participated in the pre-filing process under docket 14-01 and as recently as August 19, 2015, filed with FERC our reroute request that we are here to discuss tonight in order to supplement the record. Uh, Jeff and I are here to pr present a report that evaluates that evaluates three separate routes. On this diagram, which is included in the handout, AZ Ocala is this large property here. The new compressor station is located on this property just over here. The current route that was filed with the EIS on September 4th is this route that goes like this. As of last night, uh, Sable Trail has filed a route re uh, realignment and their route realignment is to request to follow the route along this route here. AZ Ocala is requesting that FERC consider our route request which is this route here. It's exactly identical in length to the, FERC, to the Sable route and it is 100% co-located along the route. Whereas the, the Sable Trail proposed route is only 35% co-located and it goes across multiple property owners. <clears throat> the report evaluates the routes for ecological protected species, cultural resources, and NEPA of U-Shed compliance. I'd like to put a copy of the report into the record and distribute copies to the members and staff. And again, as we've indicated on the map. Now, the significant, since the filing of the, the new route, I'm just going to discuss the two routes. And am I out of time? Should I come back? I'll be real quick. Uh, as we said, alternative one is 100% co-located. Uh, and it does not sever any property lines. It does not go through any green fields. It is uh, adjacent to other linear facilities, including existing roads that are paved and unpaved, uh, buried fiber optic lines, and electric utility distributions. Alternative two, however, is only 35% co-located. And in this area right here on the map, which is between stations 2631 plus 30 and 2684.30 on the September 30th filing, this area right in here, uh, we found uh, cultural disposition of materials and artifacts. Clearly, we believe that the alternative that we are proposing and that was submitted to FERC on August 19th is a superior route and we would request FERC to adopt that route. We are still in discussions with Sable. We first presented this route to Sable at a meeting in my office on June 9th. Uh, we met again with Sable on June 31st. We've had two phone conferences on August 13th and September 28th. And we have been advised that Able, uh, Sable is considering our route, but the main concern that they had was notification to the new property owners in this area which is called Florida Highlands. We would request that uh, FERC ask Sable to give notice to the property owners along the Florida Highlands. We would also ask that we have not we filed along with our request on August 19th a motion to intervene. If you've not granted our motion to intervene, we'd also request that you do that. 
And again, we would request that you approve our route, which is a 100% co-located route with abutting owners at least 95 to 115 feet from the edge of their property to the proposed pipeline location. Thank you. Thank you, sir.